In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the debug feature of code blocks. Using debug feature, what we can do, we can execute the project, we can execute any C program step by step, and we can view the content of the variables for our convenient. And we can try to find out some logical mistakes that could have been that could be there in our program. So it's a good feature, it's an efficient feature to find out the logical mistakes. And again, it could help you to understand the flow of programs sometime. For the novice programmers, it's a good way to understand the flow of programs. So what you need to do in order to understand the debug feature of the code blocks, you need to create a project. So I'm creating a project here. Just click on File, then Project. And you need to choose the type of the project. I'm choosing console application as I'm doing it for the novice programmers. So I'm just clicking go. Then next, choose C. Next, give a suitable project title here. I'm just giving intro debug. It could be anything of your convenience. Now choose a location where you want to put this project. So what I'm doing. I'm just using this Santa folder so this is the project location and you can see that there is a file project file that with the extension .cdp that is code blocks project which is created under the intro debug folder and the intro debug folder is under our Santa folder so uh, code blocks creates a folder with the project title under the chosen directory now click on the next uh, automatically the GNU compiler has been selected now finish so it has created the project and we can view the project manager from view manager this is the project manager from where we can navigate through the resources of the project now you can see that only one node is here that is the sources node under the project and that contains a file main.c it has automatically written by the compiler written by the ID for us so I'm just writing a simple code in order to understand the debug feature. It tries to find out the sum of two integer numbers. It's a simple code as you can see it. It takes two numbers X and Y from the keyboard and just add, adds them and prints the result. Okay, in order to understand the debug feature, first of all, what you need to do is to add a breakpoint at desired instructions from where you want to start the debugging process. So I'm adding a breakpoint here. Now, at the breakpoint, when we start the debug process, if we add a breakpoint at particular instruction, then what happens? The program execution takes a halt at that particular instruction. And from that point onwards, we can execute the program step by step. And we can watch the content of the variable uh, to find out the logical mistakes, if there is any. And we can also understand the flow of program. So what I'm doing, I'm adding a breakpoint here at line number seven. In order to do that, just go to the left hand left margin of the editor and right click, add breakpoint. So you can view this red mark. This is the breakpoint mark. That means a breakpoint has been added here. Okay, now we can start the debug process. Now for debugging, there is a toolbar given here. If the toolbar is not available in your IDE, then what you can do you can just click on view then toolbars then debugger it will reappear it will appear we can dock this toolbar anywhere in our toolbar in in the toolbar segment of the id so i'm docking it here now in order to start the debug process just click on this red button or debug start continue or press f8 key whatever is whatever you feel is convenient so the debug has started now you can see that yellow triangle mark here that means the program has been started by the id and it is at halt at this line number seven that yellow mark is the current execution point and it has also opened the console as you can see that this is the output console for the program and what i am doing i am just splitting the screen i'm just doing the tile on this screen so that we can view both the windows simultaneously so I can view the both the output window and the code simultaneously now. In order to tile, just right click on taskbar, then 
choose tiled windows vertically now if you choose tiled windows horizontally horizontally all the open open windows will be tiled horizontally so now what you can do you can just start the debug process you can just go through the instructions step by step from this point onwards now we can get the toolbar here it's already there yes. let me just get back the toolbar here okay now i'm doing again the tile so here it is on the right hand side we have this console and on the left hand side we have this editor so i'm just going to the next line now just click on step into and observe what happens as soon as i clicked on step into then the yellow triangle mark goes to the next line that means this printf has been executed and you can see that it has print printed the message enter first number now the current execution point is line number eight now if i press step into now the scanf has been executed now it is waiting here for my input i am typing in 70 and pressing enter now the yellow triangle reappears here on the left hand side that means on the editor and you can see that right now it is holding at line number nine and if i press step into again it prints this it executes the printed message and goes to the line number 10 the yellow mark is right now right now right now at line number 10 now if i press again the step into that means this particular button on the toolbar it go it, it has executed the scanf and scanf is right now waiting for the input and i am giving 10 here and pressing enter again the yellow mark reappears here so the instruction that is about to execute is line number 11 that means now the summation will take place now one more thing what we can do we can watch the content of the variables right now if we wish so here you can see that click on this and click on watches so a watch window will appear now in this watch window what we can get we can get the content of the variables variable x contains 70 as we have given 70 here and variable y contains 10 as we have given 10 here variable r that contains some uninitialized values okay that we usually call the garbage value okay because still the addition is going has not yet performed so the variable r contains garbage now what we can do we can execute this line 11 and immediately r will be assigned the assigned with the result so again i am pressing this now you can see that r here in the watches window as 80 so the summation has been successfully done now it is about to execute line number or instruction number 12 so here it is printf so it is going to print the content of r so i am just clicking on step into once more and you can just carefully observe th this console uh, the printf will print the result here immediately so i'm printing this so here is the sum sum is 80 the printf has been executed now it's on the return zero statement i'm clicking once more here it comes to the closing curly brace and once more the program goes end goes to end so in this way what we can do we can execute the program step by step and at the end what you need to do is to stop the debugger by clicking on this cross button to stop the debugger okay so we can see that uh, by using this feature we can execute the program step by step uh, which helps us to understand the flow of the program number one and number two it will help us to find out the logical mistakes by observing the values of the variable carefully we can understand the mistakes that we might have made in our program uh, it's a robust feature and for the novice students it's a great feature to understand the program thank you very much